Welcome to Annunciation Friary. We're celebrating the 30th anniversary of this building, the dedication of the building where the friars live. And it's here on the campus of EWTN, which makes it a lot easier for us to go down to the televised mass. We offer the televised mass. We also have confessions here for the employees and for anyone else who comes here on pilgrimage, as well as doing other things for EWTN. So we're the Annunciation Friary. You know, Mother Angelica's title was Mother Mary Angelica of the Annunciation. And so work to continue that wonderful work that St. Gabriel first began when he announced the gospel to Mary that she was to give birth to the incarnate word. And that's our work, to continue to proclaim that good news. And you know, when Mother Angelica wanted to build a monastery in the south, she had made that vow to God if she was able to walk again, she'd build a monastery in the south. She came from Cleveland, or Canton, Ohio, rather, and she stayed at this house here on my right. So this house was already existing, and while the monastery was under construction and she was supervising every step of that, she was living here. And so we're very happy that that's still part of our friary complex. You can see that there's a walkway now that connects it to this new building. And it was on March 25th, 1994, when we really reached a milestone in our community's life. We had begun on May 2nd, 1987. And it was on March 25th, 1994, we had our first friary. And it was dedicated that day, it was blessed. But we also had, you know, Father Mark entered our community as a postulant that very same day. Brother Bernard and Brother Leo made their first vows a profession that day. And it was also a day, and we still continue to do this practice, when we made that consecration of Louis de Montfort to Jesus through Mary, offering everything to Jesus through her, praying that our work here would bear abundant fruit. So we're grateful to God for this a building that the Lord has given to us that enables us to do our mission here on the campus of EWTN. And let's go and see a few of the elements of the Annunciation Friary. So here on my right is a place where the friars enjoy having recreation. We have a basketball court here, we play pickleball. You know, Father Patrick and I, you might not believe this, but it's actually true, we're actually pretty competitive and we're pretty evenly matched. So we've had some nice uh, pickleball games here on this court. The Friars have also played volleyball. We've also invited some of the employees at times to come and play basketball. And we've had some nice games between the Friars and uh, the employees, the different departments of the employees. So let's take a look at the basketball court, pickleball court. So when this was originally built, I had hoped to have enough space for a tennis court, but we were like 20 feet short. But thankfully, pickleball doesn't take as much of a court and so this has worked out perfectly for us with the fence around it. Now we're gonna to go to the heart of the friary, which is our chapel where we have our divine office, where we pray together. We also pray the rosary here. And this is part of the original building that Mother Angelica first moved into when they were constructing the monastery. But it's a little portiuncula, and it's quite interesting how the portiuncula often has become an adoration chapel. For example, at the Franciscan University of Steubenville, they have a little portiuncula. This is Our Lady of the Angels, where we have adoration. And then we have our own little chapel here in the friary, which is a small little portiuncula, if you will, as well. So the heart of our home, and what a wonderful thing it is to have as the heart of our home, our Lord's presence and the Blessed Sacrament. We can come here any time of the day or night to be before our Lord and with our Lord, who is the beloved of our souls and all of our souls, right? And this altar is actually something designed by our own Father Pascal as a replica of an altar at the Basilica of Assisi uh, of, uh, dedicated to St. Francis. We have here a statue of St. Francis holding the rule book, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the San Damiano cross, and then over here, St. Anthony holding up the monstrance. And that goes back to an event in his life where there was a man who did not believe in the reality of the Blessed Sacrament and his mule knelt down in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament that St. Anthony knew that the Lord would confirm the reality of his real presence. 
So we're devoted to the Blessed Sacrament. In fact, it was on March 25th, 1994, that we began to wear the Franciscan habit with the monstrance embroidered on it as a sign of our devotion to St. Francis and also our great love of the, of the Holy Eucharist. You know, we make a holy hour every day. And then we also have the Stations of the Cross on both sides, which is a very Franciscan devotion as well. St. Leonard of Port Maurice set them up in like over 600 places and really spread that devotion to our Lord's suffering, but also the great love with which our Lord went to his suffering. So outside of the chapel, we have a beautiful little sacristy here. And you see Father Patrick, he's just offered a mass here in our private chapel that we'll see that in a minute. He didn't have another assignment today, so this is a wonderful place where we can have a private mass, or if there's a small group of people, sometimes we'll have employees that are in other, other countries who will be coming here and they want to have mass celebrated for them. So we will sometimes have mass here for other little groups. So take a look at our little fiery sacristy. Leaving the Friary Sacristy, we're going to our private Mass Chapel where the friars, if they would like to offer the extraordinary form, we have an altar for that, with the cards or the ordinary form right here. So it's a quiet little place that makes it convenient when we don't have other obligations. We always want to offer Mass every day. It's the heart of our life. We want that union with the Lord and also to offer our prayers and the highest prayer we can offer is the Mass. So we're now on the second story of this building, which is where we have our friary cells, where we have our rooms. And that makes it a lot more quiet, actually, when you're on the second floor. So we enter this way and we see the image of St. Francis here. And you're going to notice we have the Stations of the Cross. Well, these were actually stations that Mother Angelica rescued from a pawn shop. And we had just completed this friary. And so she offered these to us, and we were quite happy to put these stations here. And we have at times, as a community, even gone around the uh, hallways to make the Stations of the Cross. But we're going to show you now one of the rooms, a typical cell, cell of one of the friars. So it's a simple room, and we actually have uh, our, const our construction crew actually made these uh, wardrobes for us, a desk and a chair, a little nightstand and a bed, so a very simple room. And then the friar, this one's unoccupied at the moment, can put up different artwork that is uh, special to him. So we're grateful we have a wonderful cook, Portia, who cooks us meals five days a week. And the evening meal is typically when we gather together as friars. We all have different schedules during the day. And so we're kind of picking up breakfast and lunch as we are able to. But then the evening meal is one that we always try to have together. So we always have a wonderful meal that uh, Portia prepares for us here in the kitchen. So let us now, we're gonna walk into the refectory and this is a serving area that we have here where friars can get coffee or they can get their pickup breakfast or lunch, whatever they're needing for the day. And then this is a beautiful room that we have uh, for the refectory and you want to have a large space, you know, when you have a large number of friars and it's just a wonderful community time. Just as our Lord often did things in the context of a meal, it's a time of communion with one another, of coming to uh, share with one another the day and the troubles of the day or the, uh, the beautiful things that the Lord did that day. And so it's a wonderful time for us to share. We actually have a puzzle that we've been working on as well in our free time when we have time at night. So I hope that you've enjoyed this little tour of the Friary, now 30 years old. And it does need some work after 30 years, as you would know, if you have a home and so on. So we could use your support for that, the different projects that need to be done. And subscribe, subscribe to our newsletter. And you can also visit our website, franciscanmissionaries.com. So like, share, subscribe, so that others too can learn about the Annunciation Friary, this wonderful a gift of God that has been given to us through his providence, through people like you, that helps us to continue our mission for EWTN. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, 
and the Holy Spirit.